When Magic the Gathering first released, the rules for deck building were straightforward. You had to have a deck of at least 40 cards. That's it. In January 1994, the DCI released the first floor rules for Magic tournaments. These changes included a 60-card minimum deck, no more than four of any individual card outside of basic lands, and the game's first banned and restricted list. In Magic, a card that is restricted means that only one copy can be played in your deck, while cards on the banned list can't be played at all. The first cards banned from tournament play were ones that included Ante. This was an early attempt at growing collections by having each player remove a card at random from their deck before a game, and the winner got to keep both cards. Not great to keep players interested if they lose their cards, but also not great for tournaments when decks can change from round to round. The only non-anti card on the list was Sharazad from Arabian Nights, which created a sub-game and caused games to go much longer. The first restricted list had a lot of powerful cards on it, including the cards now known as the Power Nine, Black Lotus, the Five Moxes, Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, and Time Twister. Soul Ring and Time Vault appear for similar reasons to the Power Nine, allowing you to gain extra mana for little resources and taking extra turns. There were also a few unusual choices, like Orcish Oriflame, which was originally printed with an incorrect mana cost, and Ruck Egg, which didn't specify that the creature had to go to the graveyard from play, so players would wait to discard it and get a free 4-4 flyer. The ban and restricted lists continued to evolve in the early days. Wizards of the Coast had a huge success on their hands, and they were still trying to figure out what was going into the game. For instance, the set Legends first introduced legendary creatures into the game, and as a rule, more about the style and flavor of the cards rather than the functionality, all the legendary creatures were added to the restricted list in August of 1994. The thought was that there's only one Solkanar the Swamp King in the world of Magic, so you should only be allowed to play one in your deck. Makes sense, right? Well, Wizards quickly did away with that because they figured if someone wants to play with Solkanar, the gameplay mattered more than the flavor. August of 1994 also saw the manual dexterity cards added to the banned list. Cards like Chaos Orb and Falling Star require players to manually flip a card over a surface to have an effect. Wizards felt these cards weren't inclusive, so they stopped producing them, along with banning the ones that were already created. In 1995, different tournament formats were created, which had their own banned and restricted lists. Type 1, which is now known as Vintage, and Type 2, known as Standard, were created earlier in the year. Vintage allowed cards from every set, with a smaller banned list and a larger restricted list. Standard only allowed cards from Revised and the two most recent limited expansions, which at the time were The Dark and Fallen Empires. Yeah. The restricted list was minimal, and the banned list was most of the vintage restricted list. Standard was updated in October of that year to allow cards from 4th edition, Chronicles, and all available limited expansions, including Ice Age and the upcoming Homelands. After just over a year, Type 1.5, now known as Legacy, was created in May of 1996. Legacy was created without a restricted list, and any cards that were on the restricted list in Vintage or Standard were instead banned in Legacy. In early 97, Standard changed again to put all the cards from the restricted list onto the banned list, making Vintage the only format that now had both. Wizards' initial philosophy was to ban individual cards that were too powerful, but this changed in what's known as Combo Winter. At the end of 1998 and early 1999, there were multiple combo decks that were able to kill an opponent on turn 1 or 2. I don't know about you, but I don't like losing a game before I've drawn my first card. In order to keep tournament play going, Wizards banned multiple cards that would fuel multiple engines, instead of just the offending cards that were the main engine for a deck. Dream Halls was a main part of the engine for a turn 1 win, but other cards like Lotus Petal and Stroke of Genius allowed players to get an early Dream Halls on the board or draw extra cards to fuel the Dream Halls. So instead of just banning Dream Halls, Wizards decided to ban the cards like Lotus Petal and Stroke of Genius in order to create a healthy format. As Magic continued to grow and evolve, more formats were created, and some fell out of favor. If you go to Wizards website, you can find the banned and restricted lists for obscure formats and some that are no longer played. Once upon a time, there used to be block-constructed tournaments that would use three sets from one block. Masks block-constructed included Mercadian Masks, Nemesis, and Prophecy. 
At the time, decks based around the rebel creature type were powerful, so Wizards banned the card Lin Civi Defiant Hero because it warped the format. So if you and your friends ever have a hankering to play Masks Block Constructed, you can go to the banned and restricted list to see that Lin Civi is not okay to play there. In the late 2000s, early 2010s, Wizards once again changed their philosophy behind the banned and restricted lists. Instead of only adding cards that were too powerful, they also started adding cards that were on the cusp but led to slow or unfun play experiences. Sensei's Divining Top is a great card, but each player having one in play, activating it, and looking at the top three cards of their library every turn really slowed down tournament play. It got to the point that it would be difficult for the players to finish a match within the time limit at a tournament. Another card, Second Sunrise, would see one player taking 30 to 40 minutes during a single turn, trying to combo off, and sometimes not even being able to win that turn. The last category of banned cards came about in mid-2020, when Wizards announced they were going to ban some cards from the early days of the game that were deemed offensive or objectionable. These are cards that depict images or use words that are insensitive to cultures or religions. We won't be showing the cards here, and Wizards has removed the artwork of the cards from Gatherer as part of the banning process. Thanks for joining us for a look at the history of the Magic the Gathering banned and restricted list. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and check out other Magic content at StarCityGames.com.